the members who are coming forward to share their knowledge at the quickest point of introduction of technology the way our panelists have adopted in using their day to day activities using of ai in their day to day activities is actually a testimony that our profession is so agile that in one of the corners of the country there is one person or there might be tens of people who are adopting technology in a true spirit friends many of we use tally as a normal software in our day to day practice for auditing few of them for accounting or for filing of gst returns tds returns and many more but the future that we are predicting and the things that are on the place before us is all ai driven things now let's move toward the next panelist ca rama jain so let's welcome rama jain over to you rama jain ji thank you sir thank you sir so i'm i'm ca jain rama jain i'm a chartered accountant practicing in chennai and also a faculty for ici so let me move on with some four integrated case studies on using uh, tally with uh, artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is not only by just by having a generative uh, text prediction model or image recognition model it also uses nlp natural language processing and deep learning capabilities so i'm going to uh, demonstrate how tally can use this subsets of artificial intelligence in the current environment and benefit the small and medium practitioners like us so first let me go with the nlp model so nlp stands for natural language processing which is built in in tally so in tally you can go and ask questions so tally will answer with you a similar set of like 60 70 scripts are there so which will in fact answer you back with uh, some information for example let me go to my tally screen some sample data is sorted already loaded so i'll go to the calculator panel and type sales so it will give me the list of sales i can go and type the ratios i can say yes. for example i can say that i can ask for net profit so i can ask for a sundry data balance so it will all give me the list of uh, information which i ask i can ask for the cash balance i can ask for anything like you know a working capital i can ask for ratios like that so what did i do i went and enhanced this natural learning capability of tally and i made it to pass transactions and vouchers in and ledgers into this tally so i have some scripts uh, uh, which is written by me for example i'll just take my notepad here so you can go and ask uh, create ledger uh, uh, say say i can go to my uh, ledger ram so this tally can go and actually create a ledger just by me entering this script in the calculator panel i believe my calculator panel is visible for all of you so it has created the ledger so now i'll go and see show you that uh, ledger creation uh, ram here it is by default mapped under sundry data so i have given like that i can even very well ask the tally to map it under sundry creditors or sundry or assessments form and others other prompts like uh, uh, prompts like i i can go and uh, very well mention uh, you know the the group name as well so the the tally will go and post it in the group name so uh, now i said create uh, ledger radesham and our sundry data so it has created let me just show you radesham is created also very well i can go and say uh, to create a ledger uh, say this this prompts reads reads like this it says create a ledger uh, server 02 under fixed assets with a balance of a debit balance of 15000 rupees so i can write this script go to the calculator panel post it so this ledger will be created with a balance so i can go and say anything in positive it will go and create a credit balance so uh, a human being without a without a great knowledge of tally or an accounting knowledge you know you can anyone can go and uh, write a script like this attached to tally and go and say something so a billing software a, a person a very amateur of user a person from a, just from a class 12 can use like this for example like that 
I, I can go and make payment to of uh, let's assume I'm going to record this transaction, make payment of 3000 to ICAI. So first ICAI ledger is not created. And also I'll show you another method where ledger can also be automatically created even with, uh, without the possibility of a ledger, the transaction can also be imported into tally. So I'm going to say uh, create ledger ICAI. Ledger is created. Now I'm going to say make payment 3000 to ICAI. So I'll go to the uh, ledger display, accounts book ledger, ICI. Uh, yeah. So I need to alter the, since it's the edit lock model, I'm sorry, I need to make the voucher number as none here. So the security measure in the uh, in the tally. Yeah, here. Yeah. So now this transaction, I just made it a, a prompt and it created. I can go very well and you know create a create a stock item. Uh, I can I can go and say it's create a stock item. So dust cover the stock item. We can very well understand create a stock item called dust covers under finished goods. Uh, say it is a unit of measurement is NOS and the open balance is 10 and the rate is 550. So I can go and say uh, uh, display more reports, uh, state of inventory, stock query, dust cover. Yeah, it's created. So you can go and create any items like this by using this natural language processing model in Tally. I've just written a couple of lines of script and probably my procedures have, have explained you on, on TDL. I can very well share this and I see even both the script in, in, the, in their website so that members can use it. So number two on natural language model capability, uh, I've also created a, you know, a created a small uh, uh, Excel file where the, where the transactions can be imported into Tally, but with a small difference. So it can, the, the, the TDL will allow to import a transaction from Excel, but with even without the presence of the actual ledger is concerned. For example, uh, let me show you, there is a ledger called Shanmugam here, and uh, let me go and show you in the tally for the ledger. So ledger Shanmugam is not there. So the random data is just pulled on here. So I'm going to import, there is like uh, 52 transactions, I'm going to import it into tally. So the caption reports, Excel import into tally, double entry, so it has read there are 51 entries. It's going to map it, map a separate key here, and all the entries being created in Tally automatically. So now what happens to the ledger? So what Tally does is it created all the ledgers, all the ledgers mapped under the suspense account and posted all the entries. Now, as a user, you can go very well, go and you know modify it as, as much as possible. So this will be helpful in creating, uploading multiple bank statements or any kind of entries, even though without a presence of a ledger available in Tally, it goes and creates and maps it in a suspense and so next So next case of you know Tally is like you know uh, uh, using a chat GPT model. So what did I do? I went and read the parameters of Tally. I have identified 40 plus data points in Tally which can be imported to Excel as a form of a daybook in a matter of few seconds. Say, for example, a thousand entries can be imported from Excel, sorry, tally to Excel with a 44 column report in a fraction of less than one second. So, so let me just show you a demonstration with a single data. I'm going to put a new Excel sheet and go to data, uh, get data, legacy wizards and Microsoft query. Here I select tally and I can go and select the voucher tenure. So now all the last daybook transactions, minutes. last two minutes, okay. All the daybook transactions has been uh, in, uh, reported here. There are 700 lines of, 1000 lines of entry. Now this can be uploaded to a chat GPT model, uh, which I'll show you, show it here. So I can go and upload to a chat GPT model 4.0. I'll ask, the, ask this, uh, Ask this to you know analyze. There are four more data points like stock and transactions in stock. So this will go and analyze me, analyze me and get some items like these are the prompts. Analyze the data and get me the total sales. Give me party wise sales, party wise purchases and stock and read the other data sets. So the 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 GPT model will go and give me the sales list of sales, 
uh, list of purchases and uh, list of parties and list of stocks. Again, finally, I'll take less than 20 seconds. The same file can be imported into a, a predictive model learning where you can attach the file, get a prediction, and after by using a, a long, short uh, timeline approach, and this will go and read and do a prediction for me. So this particular tool can be helpful for channel accountants in giving projection statements and you know project reports by using a neural network and finally all of this can be an open source and it is already available in my website so which can be downloaded and be tested and used and these are the list of technologies being used on my pre pre presentation uh, tdl and uh, nlp and other odbc and other things and also these all these items similarly been introduced in the new advanced itt syllabus myself path and there are a few other members we are currently formulating the service and over to the panelists Thank you so much for my time. Thank you, Rama Jayanji. And it was a wonderful, super fast techno journey from the tally to calculator to GPT to chapter, then back to chat GPT 4. And you have touched so many technical things. And hats off to you. You are a master in uh, yourself. You are giving your knowledge to all the students. And uh, it's a very important thing, participants, that he is already connected with ICI in so many ways. So okay. thank you. Yeah. Uh, 10 seconds, sir. I have actually posted all of this in my GitHub page. Uh, members of the Southern region are currently using it. I believe more than 5,000 people are using this TDL. Cool. And, you know, it has been saving a lot of time. It also gives a lot of analysis reports like, you know, 269 SST transaction, 184Q. Another advanced method is also providing me. I know it is not in the context, so I'm not informing this to the uh -huh. What do you? Definitely, you will join the next hackathon, which will be related to the many of the subjects because we are planning hackathon differently on GST than on and DDS. On income this can management. be done with Zogo as well. This can be done on Zogo as well. So thank you, thank you, Ramajanti, and uh, hats off to your efforts. So thank you, Kalpesh.